Oh my god. I don't know how he wouldn't get smacked right here. I'll just call it. It's a big, big, and big. Oh my gosh. He ate it. Oh my god. <gasps> no way. There's no way I just did that. There is no freaking way I just did that. Well, we just got some gas, had to stock up on the drinks as well, and we are ready to go bass fishing today. The reason we got so many drinks is because it is 100 degrees outside. The fishing's probably gonna be a little bit tough, but I tied on some baits that I think's gonna do the trick today for many of reasons. Let's go ahead and get out to our first pond. We're gonna be hitting a lot today, guys. A lot of ponds, a lot of new ponds I haven't fished before, and that's exactly what we're about to do right now. Let's get it. This is our first little spot today, this tiny canal, this little creek that runs right through here. There's also some more on this side. I'm super excited to fish this today. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna be throwing. It's gonna be fun if it actually works. Um, as you guys can tell, there's a bunch of little shade lines down through this with the trees hanging down. So I think what I'm gonna be throwing today might do the trick and it might catch some giant fish. So I've never fished this place before. I don't even know if there's fish in here. I don't know if there's bass in here. So that's gonna be the little challenge today. But let me show you what I'm throwing. A frog today or a popping perch, the popping pickle perch as you guys have seen in the past. I've caught so many large fish on this and we're about to give it a shot today and see if we can pull a giant out of this tiny creek. Well, we got the scale today. I'm actually gonna lay it on the ground. I don't have any room to carry it, but I'm sure we'll eventually, if we if we need it, we'll come back and grab it. Um, we won't be too far away. So, like I said, starting off with the pop and pickle perch, gonna be fishing some shade lines, and it could be deadly. Like I said, I don't know if there's bass in here. So, that was the worst cast I think I've ever thrown in my life. I mean, there could be bass in here. Gosh, if there's bass in here and we're catching them on this, this is gonna be so much fun. If you guys are wondering about the water clarity, it's pretty muddy. And uh, with this little chartreuse action on the tails, it should fit perfectly on this. Man, I am just getting pumped right now. I feel like we're really gonna get surprised by a big fish. There's something. What the fuck? What the what? I was about to say there's something by it. What was that? I don't think that was a bass. It was like a gar or something. What in the heck? Dude, that was like... What was that, guys? Did you guys see that? I have almost fell in at least 12 times already. <laughs> oh my god. Please. I do not feel like falling in this nasty creek. Look at all this slop on the water. This is just, oh my gosh. You got grass on the edge. Oh my god. Yes, there is bass in here. So I'm chasing it. Oh yeah. Let's go. Frog fishing this tiny creek. This little small creek right here. And it freaking has bass in it. It's nothing big, but heck, I am like, that is awesome right there. Little tiny guy on the pop and pickle in this small little creek that branches off down here. We've been walking this for a while and we finally got our first fish and it's a beautiful little old bass. Looks like something almost bit him right there. That is what we're talking about. Little bass like that, there we go. There we go. All right, now we just gotta find a big one. We know there's bass in here now. Now I feel confident. Now I'm like, Noah went from right here to way up to the top right now. I know there's bass and now it's time to catch them. Oh, 
like third cast, big and golly, no way, oh yeah, oh my gosh, are you kidding me, freaking like third cast, three pounder, holy cow, barely came out, oh baby, look at that, guys, this is like third cast, already smack the frog, I'm talking early this morning, look at that beautiful bass. He ain't quite three. He's pushing that three number though. Let's grab a scale. Let's uh let's weigh him real quick. All right, as you guys can tell, zeroed out in the scale. This guy might push three, honestly. I think he's either two and a half to two and three quarters. He's probably two and three quarters. If this fish won't jump, ooh, he might be three. He might he might be on that money. Calm down, buddy. Three. Dang. Look at that, 215. One ounce away from three pounds. He's bleeding a little bit. Let's get him back in the water. What a way to start the day with a three pound bass. Like second or third cast. That is awesome right there. Get that beautiful guy back in the water. There he goes, swimming off. Oh, that was just, that was sweet right there. To start off the day with a three pound bass on a frog right off the bat. How do you beat that? I would like to know how do you beat that right there. Especially on the pop and pickle. Gosh, this got me pumped up. Let's do it again. Oh my gosh. I don't know how we wouldn't get smacked right here. I just called it. It's a big, big, and big. God, dog. <clears throat> That's almost a five pounder. Are you kidding me? I just called it. Look at him choke it. <sighs> Look at him choke that thing. <sighs> Holy cow. That's a big one right there. We getting a weight on him, too. Look at that in the back of his throat. Oh, I just called that. Oh my gosh. Whew. Well, this frog's paying off, guys. Let's grab the scale real quick and get this guy back in the water. All right, we're zeroed out. Big bass. Good look at that guy. I think he's about four and a half. Um, I could be wrong. I'm thinking he's about four and a half. 4.7. I missed it by one ounce. Four or seven. So pretty much four and a half right there. God, that is perfect. Oh man, look at that fish right there. That is a very big bass, especially this time. During the summer to catch on a frog, top water, early in the morning. Can't beat that right there. Four and a half pounder. Caught a three and then a four and a half. And I called this guy on that lay down. Let's get him back in the water. Oh yeah, she's ready. Oh. Guys, this is getting crazy. Catch a three and then a four and a half early in the morning on a frog. Just boom, right off the bat. Uh-oh, that's, that's a long cast. If one eats me right here. Oh my gosh, he ate it. Gosh, I caught him halfway across the pond. Oh, he choked it too. Oh, yes. Look at that. I freaking caught him across the pond. <laughs> I had a feeling I was going to get hit. That was like a full length cast, too. Look at that solid three and a half pounder. And the frog is in the back of his throat. Oh, man. I can't believe I even got a hook in that guy. Thank God he like actually slaunched it. Gosh, look at that bass. Let's get a weight on this guy. Go. Three ten, exactly over three and a half. Lit two ounces over three and a half pounds. Three pounds, ten ounces. Man, we're checking in the biggins this morning, boys. <laughs> On a frog too. Beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Crush that frog. There she goes. Let me tell you, this is probably the most fun that I've had in a very long time. You know, I go bass fishing all the time, guys, and this has probably been one of my favorite trips in a very long time. I love frog fishing. I love jacking them on the braid like that, keeping them high and just dragging them across the water. 
There's nothing better than that. We've caught two three pounders, a th almost three and three quarter, and a four and a half pounder. Every single bite we get on this frog, big in. Big in, boys. Oh my god! No way! Golly, he's running at me. Look at him coming straight towards me. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at that! <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. I was walking the frog out in the middle and he just boosh, destroyed it, man, out of the water. I really wasn't expecting to get a bite right there. Oh, my heart is racing. This is so much fun, guys. Oh my gosh. I miss frog fishing, especially using the pop and pickle. I know you guys probably do too. It's awesome. This fish was not coming off, let me tell you. That's an easy three pounder. We can get a fish weight on him. Just let me grab it real quick. Three pounds, two ounces. Look at that right there. All these fish, let me tell you guys, are all super healthy and just thick. Like they're hefty fish. Um, so that's a good two pound or three pounder. Gosh, three pounds, two ounces get him back always catch and release that's what I promote and there he goes beautiful fish swim off perfectly fine let's see if we can get another one man No way. There's no way I just did that. There's no way I just did that. There is no freaking way I just did that. There is no freaking way I just did that and caught a giant. There is no freaking way. Are you kidding me? I'll, only if you guys could have saw what happened. I don't think you saw it. He followed it in, guys, and I noticed him behind it, and he, I just dropped it, let it hit the water, and he just grabbed it. <sighs> freaking almost four pounder. This is a three and three quarters right here. He might be four. Three and three quarters to four pounds. God dog, man, I can't believe that. He's 310, almost three and three quarters right there. Oh gosh, I didn't mean to do that, buddy. No, no, no. Well now you just screwed yourself and Noah has to come in for the rescue. Let me grab you, buddy. I wanna get a good release. Oh, well, or you can swim off beautifully. That was sweet. Gosh, we are catching the toads today, guys. I mean, what is going on here? We've caught five fish today, and they've all been three to four and a half pounds. Every single dang one. Not one of them wasn't. 